to the Rev Project Presents The Makeover Part 2. Previously in The Makeover, I went from looking like Jesus to looking like this, except a little bit shorter. Today, I'm going to go one step further, something I've been wanting to do for a long time, um, especially since I started going bald. Um, I'm going to dye my hair. Um, so a little story behind this. I've been planning to do it for a while, just never got around to it. Uh, but the other day, my good friend, Don West, some of you may know him, some of you may not, um, if you don't, look him up. But he posted on his Twitter that uh, if, if the hockey team he works for uh, went all the way into the finals, that he would bleach his hair, because the whole team bleached their hair for the summer season or whatever. Um, and they made it to the finals, I guess, so he bleached his. So. I told him that if he bleached his, I would bleach mine. So keeping with my word, today's the day. Roommates are out. Just finished cleaning up the bathroom just to do this video because my roommates are gross. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. I haven't used this one before, so I gotta read the directions on it. Okay. So these are the gloves. Actually, I got other gloves in the other room I might use instead of these. Right, how to put on your frost, on the frosting cap. Creating your frosting mixture. Put on gloves. Alright, I'm going to go get gloves. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got gloves. I had these because I paint and then I used them for uh, clean the bathroom earlier because I had to scrub the toilet and I didn't want to stick my hands in there because I don't use this bathroom, my roommates do. Alright, so... Alright, we're ready for surgery. Okay, so... We got... Lightning powder. Conditioning shampoo. More lightning powder. An applicator brush, frosting developer, and what is this? Frosting protective cream. And you got a little tray to mix it all in. Alright, so natural hair color, mine's a dark brown, I guess. It's gonna take up to an hour. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so let's get this mixed up, then I'll cut it for an hour. Hopefully my roommates aren't back at that time. If they are, then you'll see it after I rinse it out.
reply, now it says to wait an hour, so we'll be back in an hour and see how this turns out. Okay everyone, it's been an hour, five minutes, um, it says give it 60 to 70 minutes. I can see that it's visibly lighter. <laughs> um, looking at it, I think I do need to touch up a little bit right here and a little bit right here. Uh, I'm not sure how the back looks yet, I think like lower part uh, might need touching up. Um, I might just get some peroxide or something to fix that up. But it is coming up to time to rinse this stuff off and see how it does. So it says to start with just one little bit and make sure before we rinse the whole thing. So. Oh yeah, definitely lighter. Alright, so I'm going to stick my head under the faucet and rinse this stuff out and then I'll be back. So, hang in there. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, not quite as blonde as I wanted to go, but it is definitely blonde. Um, there are a couple areas I need to touch up. I do still got some of the paste left, but like I said, I might just get some peroxide to even it out. But yeah, so that's the makeover part two. Kept my word to Don, and I get to live with this new look for a few days. Um, I might wait till my hair grows back out a little bit more and then try it again uh, with a different shade of blonde. So I don't think this one's quite as light as it was supposed to be. But I don't want to leave it on too much longer out of fear of damaging my hair, so I gotta shave my beard because it doesn't match. Anyway, so that's it for this episode of The Makeover Part 2. Um, not sure what I'm going to get around to next, but as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.